it's late June, early July. We're at the, an early start, an early part of the um, rehearsal process. Over the last couple of weeks, the script has changed quite a bit and we've managed to tighten it up. <laughs> that can be quite difficult. You've got these lines of poetry that you've slaved over for, for, for weeks and weeks and then all of a sudden you have to, you have to get rid of it. But ultimately, you come into the rehearsal room, you see the actors pulling it up on their feet and you, you see how wonderfully everything starts to slot into place and work together. Really the idea of um, books and, and stories, it's great to be able to bring a story, a live story that's being performed into a library and bringing it to life and I, I like the idea of doing that and doing that in a space which relates directly to the theme that is in, in, the, in the tree child itself. It's about trees and, and what are books made of? They're made from wood uh, from trees and it's nice to kind of use that idea and bring it uh, as an integral part to the to the journey and to the, the story. We were working as I said on um, creating them some of the more magical moments of the play some of the visual elements um, and that was very good fun. I've done a little bit of this kind of very small scale work where you're working very close to the audience and you don't have a lot of stuff to prop the show up it's just you but I suppose at root, all we're really trying to do is tell a story very simply, um, quite magically, um, and put that story across to people in an unusual setting. 